All right, we purchased this smart garage door opening device by a manufacturer called Refos. And it's also related to another manufacturer called Miros, M-E-R-O-S-S. -S. Anyway, while the device has been working, it stopped working with our Alexa. And that was the whole reason we wanted a smart garage door opening device. So I need to replace this. So I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, before you really even purchase a garage door smart device, you want to check compatibility. And we have a somewhat older Craftsman garage door opener. And what I'm looking at is this number that begins with 139. That's the model number that will allow us to check compatibility for any smart garage door device we purchase. So this particular number, 139, 539, 30DM, does work with the smart device that I'm using to replace this Refos device I just showed you. So let's get going on replacing it. All right, so we have our replacement smart garage door controller. I've already installed it. This one is made by a company called Ags Home. And this one I have confirmed does work not only with our garage door device, the Craftsman, but it also works with Alexa. And so there's three sets of wires that are involved with these things. The first set are these black and red wires here. Those go into the ports of the actual garage door opener. You'll see I put the, uh, the black wire in the first position, the red wire in the second position, and then these two white wires, there's two pairs actually. Those wire out to the sensors that determine whether the garage door is open or closed. So those were already in place before I even installed this smart device. Now there's two other wires involved. This black one here, you see it coming out of the back of the smart device. This one goes to a magnet that also determines whether the uh, door is open or closed. And then the other wire out is just a power power cord actually that's I had it backwards that's the wire out to the magnets you can see bad lighting but it's going away out towards the door itself and then this wire back here is to the power cord all right so once you've got your wires set up the poles set up you're good to go once you've wired up the smart hardware app the next step is to attach magnets one of these magnets you see here this one goes on top of the garage door. The other one rests on a frame just outside of the garage door. And the goal is to have these situated about a half inch apart so that they tell the sensors, tell the smart app that the garage door is closed. When the magnets are apart from each other, the app senses that the garage door is open. So the first garage door opener device that I showed you worked off this app called eHome Life. However, this app does not work with Alexa. Now, it did at one time for us for really about a year and then it just stopped out of the blue. And apparently there is no more support available for this eHome Life. I could be wrong on that, but I couldn't find any myself. So rather than play around to try to get this app to talk to Alexa, we felt it was better to just get rid of the device, get rid of the app and get a new device with a new app. So let's show you the new app. The new garage door opener hardware works with this app called Smart Life. So you want to install the Smart Life app on your smartphone and then open it up. And then you want to add device. Just go up to this upper right corner here, the plus sign, and then tap that. And then you're going to get a whole list of things, add device. And what Smart Life does is it groups things by category. It has a whole slew of categories, but you want to go to the very first category, electrical, and you want to scroll down and you'll see the garage door opener in there somewhere. Let's keep on going, and here it is garage door opener Wi Fi. Okay, now I've already installed mine, but let's just open that up. And it's going to want your Wi-Fi network and password there. 
And once you get that installed, then you'll be able to test to make sure that your garage door hardware works with the smartphone app. You want to get all that set up before you bring Alexa into play. All right, let's go ahead and fire up the app, make sure it works okay with the hardware. App works just fine. Okay, hardware is working, apps working. Now the next step is to connect everything to, well, let's just spell it because I've got one of these things listening in, A-L-E-X-A. -E and what we're gonna do is just go down here to devices and just uh, hit the little plus sign up there. We're gonna add a device and it's gonna ask you add device pretty self-explanatory uh, kind of device you want to set up um, in this case you may not always see it by the way and that's that shouldn't be there but it may not always see um, garage door but in this case it does let me see Let's see if it picks it up there it is but in the in the event that it doesn't you should be able to scroll all the way down and just select other down there and actually you may not even have to do this much because if you just tell your robot a l e x a to uh, do a search for smart devices it'll probably find it and once it does a lot of the commands appear to be automatic you might have to customize a little bit but you should be able to say you know robot open garage door and it'll ask for a four digit code robot close garage door obviously it won't need a code to close it and it should be ready to go actually it's a lot easier to connect the app to the alexa than connecting the garage door itself the device itself or the mechanism itself to the app you know once you install the smart hardware connect to the app connecting the robot is the easy part so i hope that helps and if it does please give me a like subscribe to my videos if you like diy videos i've got plenty of them out there and I hope this helped you with your smart garage door setup. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye. Alexa, open garage door. What's your voice code for garage door? One, two, three, four.